Hi, this is Jim at your Jiffy Customer Support Network. In this segment, we're going to show you the proper procedure for changing the Jiffy STX blades on all STX drill assemblies. And always remember, the replacement blades can always be found at your local authorized Jiffy service center or at any of your local sporting goods stores. In covering the proper procedure for replacing the STX blades on the Jiffy STX drill assemblies, uh, the first note I want to mention is that replacement blades can be found at your local authorized Jiffy service center and also at any of your local uh, sporting goods stores. We're going to be utilizing a 7 16 ratchet along with a 7 16 wrench. We're first of all going to remove the STX blades from the drill point and then we remove the ripper blade uh, from the plate. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so we can get a, a better look at it as I'm doing it. Um, one note we want to make is that the blades can still be sharp and they can wind up cutting you so use caution uh, when anytime you're handling around the blades. We're going to go ahead and remove the lock nuts to loosen those up. Go ahead and remove those lock nuts. Set those aside because we'll be using those to remount these. Get the second one off. And we'll go ahead and remove the mounting nuts that hold the blades on. And we'll go ahead and remove the two blades. We'll then go ahead and remove the ripper blade. And by loosening the lock nuts. and remove the blade. The procedure for mounting the new blades first of all we're going to go ahead and mount the STX blades. We're going to go ahead and take the bolts and mount those on the first blade. Go ahead and slide those through the point. Now we'll take the other blade and mount that over the bolts. And We're going to go ahead and finger tighten the lock nuts. One thing that we're going to want to make sure that we do in this process is we're not going to tighten up any of the lock nuts on the bolts until we get all the blades in position loosely tight. And we'll go ahead and mount the ripper blade again. You slide it underneath, line up the holes, put the bolts through. We'll go ahead and mount the lock nuts. We'll just finger tighten those. And the first thing we're going to do to tighten everything is we're going to go ahead and tighten up the ripper blade first. I'll go ahead and tighten the STX point blades. I'm not going to tighten up totally tight. I'll do a final tightening once we get everything in position properly. Again, you want to make sure that you don't tighten anything up tight until you get all the blades in position.
and that covers the proper procedure for mounting or replacing the STX ripper blades on all the STX drill assemblies. If anyone has any questions or concerns regarding this procedure, please feel free to contact us at the two locations noted on your screen. I'd like to take this time to thank you for your continued support of Jiffy products and also the purchase of your Jiffy Ice Drill. Thanks and have a great day.